module, we will cover two ways of entering event data into DHIS2, the web-based capture app and the Android-based capture app. In this subsection, we will cover an overview of the capture app in the web-based DHIS2 version, explain its key features, and demonstrate how to enter event data. The learning objectives for the session are to demonstrate how to select the correct event program in the Capture app that you want to enter data for. Describe the layout and options available in Event Capture in the Capture app. Illustrate how to register and fill in an event. Explain how skip logic, program indicators, and program validation are used in event-based data entry, and explain the different views available for entering data within the Capture app. It is important to remember that the web-based Capture app is used for entering individual event-based data only, and does not support entering tracker program data at this time. The Capture app organizes data entry by program, which is equivalent, for example, to a line list of cases, a survey, or another data collection tool where no specific entity is being tracked. For this reason, the capture of events is anonymous in nature. No details can be used to register or search for entities when working with event programs. During this demonstration, we will first describe the interface layout and its features. Next, we will register an event at the YAM Health Facility for the SARA RCH program and demonstrate some features that help with data quality, including required items, value types, program rules in the form of skip logic, indicators, and validation rules. And finally, we will highlight the difference between the two types of event entry that are available, row view and form view. And of course, we will make sure we demonstrate how to save events entered. To begin our demonstration, we will first need to access the Capture app from the Apps menu. Navigate to the Capture app by typing Capture in the Search Apps field, click on the icon that has the target symbol. Once the Capture app is open, Registering Organization Unit and Program will appear. Now, before we can perform any data entry, we must specify the location by selecting which organization unit in the hierarchy we would like to enter the data. Make this choice by clicking on the arrow symbol to expand the hierarchy of the desired branch. In our case, we want to find the YAM Health Center. By first expanding Food Region, then Staple District, and clicking on the site name to select it. When selected, the organization unit's name will be shown as the registering unit. Alternatively, if you know the name of the organization unit, you can enter that name into the search bar rather than drilling down into the organization unit hierarchy. Now that we've selected the organization unit, next, we must select the relevant program. Please take note that only programs allocated to the selected organization unit and user will show up in the program selection list. Now select the program Malaria Case Management from the list. Any event, in this example, 
any malaria case that is already registered at this facility will be displayed in a tabular fashion with each row corresponding to a single event. Now let's explore the Capture Apps interface and the different options available. If we wanted to enter a new event, we would click on the plus new event button in the top right-hand corner of the browser. Below that, in the registered events table, click on the gear symbol. A box will appear that says columns to show in table. This allows users to decide which columns to show or hide in the table of events displayed. The items you can select from are data elements within the event program. This feature is especially important when there's a long list of data elements captured for each event. Next to the gear symbol is a horizontal ellipses. This is the download button. By clicking this button, you have the option to download a list of events in JSON, XML, or CSV format. This interface also allows sorting. By clicking any of the column headers, it is possible to sort the information that appears in the table by column. The sorting icon, which is a little green arrow, indicates the current sorting column. It is also possible to filter the information that appears in the table by clicking any of the headers. When clicking them, an input field appears to select or enter. During filtering, it is possible to define start and end dates for date type data elements and lower and upper limits for number types. Lastly, the user can also change the interface's paging. It is possible to edit the number of event rows that appear per page by using the paging section at the bottom of the list and editing the rows per page. You can also move between pages of events by using the arrows located at the bottom of the table. Let's pause here so you can complete the associated activity and explore the Capture App interface yourself.